Hi guys! So, this is my first time recording a voiceover for my video and first of all let me apologize because I'm sick so as you can hear my voice sounds a bit weird and I can't really breathe with my nose <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry for all the, all the weird sounds that I will be making. The thing is that I wanted to add a voiceover for this video because this one is kinda a special one for me since yesterday it was my best friend's birthday and she's she's going to come at me in the comment section calling me out for being a sappy binge but uh, she is one of the biggest inspirations for me every time i step out of my comfort zone it's because of something that she said or something that she did so uh, she's very important to me in i mean in life but also in my art progression uh, so I just wanted to honor her with this little piece and basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to imitate her art style and create a piece that I think she would have, she, she might create someday. <laughs> uh, yeah, just basically me trying to draw what I think she would draw <clears throat> and the way she does it. Uh, I don't know if I succeeded here. Uh, I think I kinda messed up with the coloring and the colors I picked. I think these are not necessarily the colors that she would have picked since she tends to go for more like pink or uh, orange uh, or blue hues. Uh, not necessarily like yellow and green that I kind of went for. So uh, yeah, I think some parts of this drawing are not really what she would go for but still it was a very fun challenge and uh, it was just it was just something that I really enjoyed drawing even though it took me quite a lot of time uh, it took me like five hours uh, so yeah uh, also one of the things that was challenging was her line art <laughs> because uh, she usually goes for more messy uh, messy lines than I do uh, and she doesn't add that many details uh, so I was just like trying to keep myself from adding more clothing folds and just more and more details <laughs> because you know that I'm crazy about them uh, also the pose itself since Viviana doesn't really use uh, many references meanwhile I use them for pretty much every drawing that I do because I feel like they really help you with getting a grasp of the anatomy and uh, basically like figuring out how the clothes work uh, so yeah I recommend using references uh, if you're like an artist and you want to get better uh, <laughs> that, was, that was very awkward <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the thing is that she doesn't use uh, many references, so in this piece I decided not to use them either. And it was challenging for me, especially with the perspective and the angle and the pose, because she always goes for these crazy-ass poses and different angles. Oh, here is me struggling with the tree, I can't draw trees. <laughs> she always goes for these weird-ass angles, and I'm always impressed by how she manages to like make them look good without using references, I can do that. So I, I struggled a lot. Mm. But well, uh, the thing is that if you want to see more of her art, uh, and I mean I really do recommend seeing more of her art, uh, you can uh, check out all the links in the description down below. Uh, I'm going to link all her social media and her comic that I really love. <laughs> so yeah, that's the thing. But here is me just coloring stuff. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job when it comes to coloring face and hair. Uh, with other parts of the body, hmm, I think some parts could have been done more in her style. Oh, also the four on the coat was very, I think it was very her style because I picked up the surrounding colors like the color of the skin and the color of the gloves and I used them to shade the four. It's something that she did, that she does a lot because uh, she, uh, 
I, I actually like didn't pay attention to it uh, before, but she told me that uh, all the like colors reflect each other. Uh, so uh, yeah, you should use the colors of the surrounding objects while shading uh, and adding shadows and adding colors to the thing that you're drawing. Uh, yeah, here is just me coloring the line art. Uh, and <laughs> struggling with that tire. I don't know uh, if it looks any decent. Mm, but I also couldn't make the background that detailed because uh, Viviana doesn't really use, uh, doesn't really add a lot of details to the background. And she wants the focus to be on the character, on their expression, the pose, uh, the emotions that the character conveys. And I think that's great. I don't know if I can personally pull it off. <laughs> uh, that's why I tend to gravitate towards like more detailed pieces. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so here is me just like trying to change the colors of the piece a bit, uh, and I'll just add some more, yeah, some more details because I really felt like the background was kind of a bit too empty uh, for my liking. And just uh, some small highlights, because she always adds them. And a signature in her style, she always adds her signature like this. So here is the finished piece. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you later! <laughs>